Hi everybody, Steph here, and what we've got for you today is, well, yet another lovely pen. What we have here is a Parker Vacumatic um, fountain pen. This is, as we'll show you in a moment, is what we term as the lockdown filler. Now, this particular pen comes in this, it's in a black colour, but what they term as a laminated transparent black. Um, it's a double jewel, which means to the bottom of the barrel there, you can see we've got this black jewel. To the very top there, you can see we've got this little peat uh, jewel to the top there. Um, while we're showing you the cap, you can see it comes with these three sort of thin cap bands. And then to the top there, you can see the very recognisable um, Parker, Parker arrow clip to the top there. Now... With, sorry, the size of this particular pen, um, from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, approximately 129 millimeters capped. Around the barrel here, again, approximately 11.8 millimeters in diameter. Now, this pen came to me in a sorry state with fully dismantled it, cleaned it, etc. internally, put a new diaphragm in it, and as we'll show in a moment, it should be in full working order. Now, first of all, with regards to the pack of vacuumatics, there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different variations. So, to be honest with you, I'm not a professional in the vacuumatics, so the information I'm going to give you is what I can actually find myself. So, if I'm wrong, don't hesitate, um, send me a message. But, again, what we have here is, this is actually a Canadian-made pack of vacuumatic, and I believe... This particular one is what they term as the standard, uh, the standard model. Now, let me show you the imprint first of all. Now, it's all very confusing, so what I'm going to do is actually bring it in quite close, and there we go. And what it actually has, it has to the left, it has made in Canada, and then in the middle. It has just the word vacuumatic, and then just to the right of the vacuumatic, it's got the the pat number uh, 318982. And then I'm hoping you can see it just to the right there, it's got the date letter 51. Um, and then underneath all that, it's got other patents pending. So I'll just give it a little bit of a twirl, so I'm hoping it's all quite legible. A little bit warm, but still quite legible. Now, as I say, very confusing, because the date letter on the pen is actually 51, which I assume is 1951. Now, the vacuumatics were actually made um, from the beginning of, sort of, 1933. And what they actually did, they actually went through in the USA through to about 1948 um, but also they actually they were actually still made in Canada until around about 1953 so again very confusing because it's date lettered on the barrel 1951 but the confusion is the fact that it's got this what they term as a lockdown filler and now we can see we've got the blind cap now the blind cap uh, sorry the lockdown fillers were actually made well very early so maybe around about night you know the 1930s so very very confusing um as to the well the age of this particular pen as i say the lockdown fillers are the earlier version it's dated on the pen 51, which I'm assuming is, is made in Canada in 1951. Um, let's take the cap off for you like that, which, as you can see, unscrews. Let's give you a bit of a twirl. And let's take you up to the top of the barrel there. You can see it's got this slightly concave small section. And then let's show you the, the nib on this particular pen. Let's keep it nice and still for you. And the, what it actually says on the nib is 14 carat Parker Vacuumatic. And then underneath it has registered trademark. And I'm not sure if you can actually see it. It might be in the section. 
but it has made in Canada and then I know you can't see it because it'll be in the section but to the bottom of this this nib it's got the number 26 which to be quite honest with you I'm not actually too sure what the 26 actually means I, I doubt it's the date being 1926 but maybe again somebody might be able to help me let's show you a sideways view like so and then let's show you the feed underneath there as you can see it's all been nicely clean just a little touch there you might be able to see it's also got the letter uh, the letter W on the feed underneath okay so that's the Parker Vacuumatic as I say very confusing because we're not too sure of the date um, I believe it's the slender model it's what they term as this double jewel pen um, but again date wise very confusing um, maybe one of you professionals may be able to tell me now the nice thing about this pen is when it came to me it was totally black we've dismantled it and believe it or not it actually has a nice transparency to the barrel and what I'm going to actually try to attempt is what I'm going to do I'm going to finish here rearrange my lighting and let's try and show you the transparency um, and let's also try and show you the pen filling inside because I've actually had people saying to me oh how much ink does it hold so I'm not going to guarantee that it's going to happen but what I'm going to do just for now before I do the writing sample um, what we'll do we'll rearrange the lighting and pop back in one second okay so what we've done we've brought on our um, desk light here so I'm hoping now we can actually show you um, the transparency of this pen there we go in fact what we'll do let's take the cap off first of all put that to one side and there you can see how nice and clean the pen is inside what you'll notice there inside we've got the breather tube and then to the top there you can actually you can actually see if we get you the right angle it's still a little bit difficult but there you go you can see the the diaphragm to the top of the pen there now if we actually unscrew unscrew the blind cap and you can see now with the touch down filler being down um, the diaphragm is actually in a what with well in a stretch position now if I actually undo the the button uh, sorry the the filler to the top there and if I pull it out you can see the diaphragm actually retracts back again so now if I actually just simply press it like so you can actually see what actually happens inside so as we press the the plunger to the top or the lockdown filler you can see the diaphragm actually moving inside the pen and that's what allows us to there we go let's show it here again and that's what allows us to fill this particular pen up now what we do now let's bring on some ink now I need to do it in a way that hopefully we can actually see so what we do we dip the the nib into the ink again as before we simply press down numerous times these particular pens um, are actually renowned for actually taking a while to to fill so what we do keep our fingers crossed let's dip the the nib in the ink and I'm hoping let's keep it like that so there you go we can see and let's show you I don't know if you can actually see the ink actually oops a daisy I nearly dropped it into the ink let's try and keep it at a decent angle and there you go I'm hoping you can see just the ink coming out of the breather tube to the top there as I say a little bit difficult on these pens because it only takes just a little tiny amount they fill in so you have to do it numerous times but let's do it nice and quickly so hopefully we can show you the pen with there you go we can see the pen filling up nicely there we are And what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually just 
leave it at that. Let's just bring on a little bit of tissue. I say a little bit difficult the way I've actually sort of prepared myself here. But if I actually show you the there you go. Look how much ink that pen is now holding. Okay, you can see the ink, the ink level, well, it's actually a full a full barrel. Okay, so I'm hoping that is nice and clear for you. So there you can actually see how these Parker Vacuumatics actually fill. By pressing down it creates a suction which uh, sucks in the ink and there you can see that's the capacity there and I'm sure that if I pressed it down a couple of more times um, it would fill in a little bit more but we can actually see to the top there you can see the diaphragm. This is obviously you can see the the lockdown filler is in an out position or it's not actually locked down as such so what I'm going to do I've don't worry I've got tissue just underneath underneath me here says he there we go so what we've done we've locked it down now what we're going to do is get the the blind cap now obviously when you're locking that down you have to do it while well, the nib is still in the ink, but what I've done, obviously, I knew what would happen, and I've, I've put my tissue just down below there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to pop that down like so. I'm going to rearrange my lighting again, and we'll pop back in a second and do a quick writing sample for you. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so what we've done, we've uh, moved away some of the lighting. Let's bring on the, the trusted pad and let's see how the pen actually writes obviously we know it's got plenty of ink in again at this point you won't be able to see it but um, when you're actually using it if you hold it up to the light you can see you, how much ink you've got in the pen so what we have is a a Parker vacuum vacuumatic um, this one is actually made in Canada now year wise a little bit difficult to tell what year as we said before very confusing so I'm not actually going to specify a particular year maybe I don't know 1951 who knows this pen is actually writing with a flexi nib and it's writing I'd say with a medium going through to a broad broad nib very nice writer very smooth it's actually a very very nice writer I'm very impressed so as you can see there it's actually writing with a lovely wet line but you can see on the downward stroke we're getting quite a broad line Whereas on the cross stroke we can get quite a fine line. So there's a nice variation in this particular nib. And there's, there's a little bit of flexibility with it as well. So a very, very nice writer. Very smooth. So there we have it. That's the Parker Vacuumatic made in Canada. We're not sure what year. Maybe, I don't know, around about 1951. Um, in the in as I say made in Canada all in all a beautiful pen in absolutely lovely condition fully restored and Well, you know the uh, you know the rest so I hope you've enjoyed this video And I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as always as much as I enjoy showing them to you Don't forget there's loads more videos go and have a look leave a comment But for now, I'll just say bye-bye now